I will be thinking about my brother and help raising funds for brain and spinal cord cancer research. My name's Ava Del Tufo. I'm 12 years old and I live in Yadda Yadda on top of a mountain in the middle of the rainforest. My brother Jeremiah, he, when he was eight years old and I was 10, he passed away from brain cancer. He was a crazy and centric kind of boy. He didn't really care what people thought about him. He was curious and funny and feral, and, um, but he was also very sweet and kind. And he was um, one of those people that everybody loved. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> he um, walked into our bedroom one morning and he said that his neck hurt. And so we made our first trip to the hospital and um, they discovered that he had an eight centimetre tumour in his spinal cord. And all through radiation and chemo, he was laughing and funny and just dead straight determined never to let him get him down. One week before he died, he was just the same old Jeremiah's beforehand. We, used, we ran around being crazy, built forts in the bush, and then one night suddenly it all kind of just started going wrong. I guess the thing I remember the most about Ava in this situation was when we had to tell her that he was going to die. They, they managed to bring him out of a coma for us and she said to him, do you want to get dirty one last time? Which was their favourite thing to do together was to get really dirty. And she painted his hands and feet and she was just incredible with him that last night and she was there the whole time. I think probably the hardest thing in the world for anyone to go through is watching your parents c to cry because you always think, oh yeah, my dad, my mum's unbeatable, they'll never cry in their life. And I remember how sad they were and I remember thinking I never want anyone else to go through what my mum and dad and I went through. I hope when I'm older to be a pediatric neurosurgeon, maybe one day I'd be able to operate on kids like Jeremiah knowing that after this operation that child will be able to go home and run around in the bush and be a kid again. My family, friends and I, we have been fundraising like crazy to try and find a cure. Some friends of ours had the idea of, of calling a special day, J Day, after Jeremiah, and we decided to do a J Day during Brain Cancer Action Week. The first year we did, um, I shaved off my hair and we raised over $20,000. And this year, my friends and I, and Jeremiah's friends, we did a 24-hour readathon. It was really fun, well, as fun, fun as it could be without Jay there. I guess it's human nature in something so tragic to try and find meaning. And I think um, doing what she does with fundraising every year during Brain Cancer Action Week, I think it's a really great way for her to take meaning from it. He was always just my best friend. He never let me down. And I think, man, I'm so lucky to be able to have a brother like Jeremiah. <laughs>